finest bunch of fighters in the land. Chasing every rustler and gorilla man. The Rough Riders watch the trail. The Rough Riders never fail. Breaking law and order everywhere they go. Without a fear of any foe. And the foe is great and all they're on your side. When those old Rough Riders ride. When the Rough Riders ride. Stop whittling, you won't have enough dogs left to walk on. It all comes from wearing boots. That's my theory. If the dumb race hadn't ever took to wearing leather on the feet, warts and corns and bunions and them things would just never happen, that's all. Is there anything more beautiful than an Arizona night? Yeah, feet that don't hurt. Bunyan, you know something? Huh? I should have bought this place a long time ago and settled down. Uh, this is a life. Ah, uh, you make me sick. You know darn well if Bat Madison sent for you to tote your guns again for your Uncle Sam, you'd get out of this place the dog gone quick they couldn't see you for dust. <laughs> That's just where you're wrong this time, Bunyan. I've hung my guns up for good. No more man hunting for me. Bat Madison knows that, too. We understand each other. Telegram for you, Buck. Joe asked me to bring it out. Said it's important. Thanks, Lem. Anybody dead? Not yet. Ain't nothing happened that stock coming out in Fort Worth, is there? It, huh? Well, and now that you've quit for good, all you gotta do is just tell him so. Yeah, it's a pretty tough thing to do to a pal like Madison. But Mesa City, well, that's nothing but a little, uh, uh, just a, a gopher hole in the desert. Yeah, and one of the toughest gopher holes in Arizona. Something must have happened to have Bat send me a wire like that. Have one of the men saddle my horse, will you? And Bunyan, tell Gus not to expect that stock. I'll pick it up in Mesa. What'd I tell you? All you gotta do is get a wire from Bat Madison and you're skinning out of hair just as fast as lightning. You, I, oh, you... button your lip, will you? Do like I told you. Working on Sunday. What this place has done to you. The United States Mail and Wells Fargo doesn't wait for Sunday or any other day. Well, I'm telling you right now, if that sweetheart of yours succeeds in getting the stage through this time, I'm taking the next one out of this heathen hole. Joe's got to get it through, Aunt Miranda. He's just got to. Oh, why your father ever left Kansas City and civilization to come out here and be killed by those thieving barbarians, I'll never understand. Ah! <laughs> 
Steve, it looks like that stagecoach line is practically yours. Yep, that's how to finish it up. Too bad about young Joe. He got hit in the shoulder. I heard about it. Say, Tagger, don't look like we're going to get into shipments out of here now. Don't worry about it. We'll have a stage going out of here in no time. Hope you're right. Boss will be happy with that load. Get it? Sure, it's a good one, too. Well, that's fine. And they're going to get bigger and better now that Miss Masters can't get any more drivers. But what I can't understand is what you want that stage line, Steve. We're doing all right, ain't we? Not good enough. That stage makes a lot more towns up ahead with shipments coming out of all those districts. When I take over, we let this town rest a while and operate on the others. Say, that's great. You sure got them figured out, boss. Come on, boys, the drinks are on the house. Give the boys a drink. Hey, look who's here. Howdy, Buck. Howdy. Long time no see. That's right. Last time we were together, we were holding hands, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. You were handcuffed to me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, still push in the law? No. Quit a year ago. No. Yeah. Just dropped in here to pick up some cattle they're delivering. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Because the law hasn't been so lucky around here lately. Well, it looks kind of peaceful to me. Well, we serve sarsaparilla for those who like it peaceful. What do you say we have one? Why not? Give him sarsaparilla. I never forget what my friends drink. Still got that half dollar with the two heads on it? You don't forget much either, do you? Nothing I want to remember. Well, just hoping you pick up that cattle with no casualties. Seeing you around. Sure, I'm always here. Hello, stranger. Looking for somebody? Oh, nobody in particular. I was just surprised that a place like this would keep open on Sunday. Hey, fellas, a sky pilot. What do you want us to do, preacher? Sing? <laughs> well, I think that might be a very good idea. Well, we'll, we'll sing for you. We got a lot of good singers here. <laughs> but before we do, suppose you do a little dance for us. <laughs> Put away that gun. Now, you suggested I do a little singing. Suppose you fellas join in the song. Get over to that piano, all of you. You two. Come on, bartender, join the choir. Put away that gun. Now let's hear your dulcet tones. Who, me? You.
Now, oh, wait a minute, Parson. Come into the back room. I've got a proposition to make you. Sure, go ahead. I'll be in in a minute. Now, let's hear you play Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie, and all the boys are going to join in the singing. I don't know it. Preachers here in Mesa City. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll flip your coin. Heads I win, tails you win. If you win, I'll build you the finest church in Arizona. If you lose, you get out of town, pronto. Well, I, I never like gambling with coins, but tell me what I'll do with you. I'll play you a hand of poker under the same conditions. A preacher playing poker? Well, why not when there's a church at stake? All right. So you think it's funny making people sing? Cut huh? it out, Red. Get me a deck of cards. You'll find them under there. These are the ones? Yeah. What'll it be? Stud or draw? Draw is agreeable to me. Uh, just a moment. Suppose we cut for deal. King. Ace. <laughs> My lucky day. Say, that preacher fella, he sure made them cow on his thing, didn't he? Kind of sour, though. You wasn't doing so bad yourself. What do you have? Well, I'll have the same as what he was drinking. Say, he wasn't doing much singing. Who is that Lily? Lily? You better not let him hear you say that. Why not? He used to be United States Marshal. No. Yeah, I heard him tell Taggart he's ranching now. United States Marshal? Tough? Tough. One of the toughest in the state. Mm -hmm. I remember about five years ago. Don't ever be around when he starts chewing gum. Habit of his when he's mad. Chews gum when he gets mad? I never heard it. <laughs> what is that stuff? Well, that's what you ordered. Sarsaparilla. Sam. Give me a beer. Here. Say, uh, what is that fella's name? Buck Roberts. Roberts? Say, that's the fellow that I got some cattle for. Not so fast. We don't give credit to strangers. Hey, who's asking for credit? He's gonna lose a franchise, sure. Wells Fargo can't stand losing all that gold. Sure, you know, I'm a fetish ship anything on it now, you know? 
It was plumb foolish of her to try to run that line after her old man was killed. Why, well, a woman ain't got a chance in a town like this. Say, when does the next stage leave? Well, that's hard to tell, considering the way they're killing off the drivers with holdups. Yep. The last one just came in with a bullet in his shoulder. Yeah, I saw it when I rode into town. Who were those men in there? Well, a committee of miners. They're worried about getting their gold out of here. I know it sounds like a lot of questions, but who's the lady? She runs the stage line now. Thanks. How's the boy? The doc says he'll be all right. But he's hurt pretty bad in the left shoulder. And they got the gold, didn't they? Yes. You know, Miss Ruth, we all liked your father. Was powerful glad to do business with him. Fact is, it was Rogers here that got the Wells Fargo franchise for him in the first place. Yes, I know. And I know what you're trying to say, Mr. Hart. You've got to get your gold out, and I haven't been able to do it. Oh, we don't blame you, Miss Ruth. The fact is, well, Ruth, Steve Taggart mentioned that Hart here could guarantee delivery. If we'd support him by recommending that Wells Fargo would turn over the Border Cities franchise to him. But how can Taggart get drivers when I can't get it? By bringing some men in from out of the state. With the idea of sending some our men to stop these holdups. And you've got to admit, Miss Ruth, that his money and power can supply that kind of protection. Yes, he has. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I reckon we'll have to wait and listen to what Taggart's got to say. And in the meantime, we'll have to hold up the shipments. We can't afford to take any more chances, even with the ones going out tomorrow. I understand. And thanks for telling me. Oh, that's all right, Miss Ruth. And if we can help you at any time, why, just let us know. Thanks. How do you do? How do you do, Miss? I happened to see the stage when I drove in with that wounded boy. If you don't mind, I'd like to have a talk with him. I've never seen you in Mesa City before. <laughs> You're right. My name's Roberts. I rode in from my ranch to pick up some cattle here. And uh, I think I can help you if I can just get to talk with that boy. Help me? I don't understand. <laughs> I heard what those miners said while they were in here. And it looks like you're in a jam. Yes, it looks like I'm going to lose my franchise. <laughs> it may not be as bad as all of that. You see, I have a few friends with the Wells Fargo Company and... Uh, I wish you wouldn't mention that until I have a talk with the boy. Well, that's awfully nice of you, Mr. Roberts. If you wait until I make a report on that holdup, I'll be glad to take you over. Thank you. Well, looks like I've got you this time, preacher. Four kings. I'm afraid they're not good enough. Four aces. Hey, I don't get this. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll play you one more hand, double or nothing. Oh, no. We'll start building that church Monday. How did he get them four aces? I don't know. That was a marked deck, too. You better keep an eye on that, Omri. Never mind about him. What became of Buck Roberts? He's the one I'm worried about. He left a little while ago. Well, find him. And don't let him out of your sight. I want to know everything he does. Good day to you. How'd you make out? Well, I put some whiskers on the shaved deck and won a church for the community. They tell me there was a young fellow hurt badly in the stage holder. Yep. 
Where'll I find him? Reckon down at Miss Ruth. And where's Miss Ruth? Oh, I'll tell you. You go right down the road there, and there's a great big rock. But don't Never stop mind. there. Never mind. We'll find it. Him. There's not much I can tell you. It all happened too quick. You see, Mr. Roberts, it's the first time Joe ever took the stage out. All the other drivers were killed. Hmm. So nobody's ever seen any of these hold-up men. No. They're all masked. Most of them fired from behind the bushes. But I'm all right. I'm going to take that stage out again tomorrow. Joe, you can't. Dr. Brown says you're not to budge out of this house, young man. Driving a stage with one hand. It's ridiculous. I can do it. Miss Ruth, do you think you can get those miners to reconsider and ship that gold tomorrow? Well, I might get the mail through, but they're worried about risking any more gold. You've got to. If we can get just one shipment through, I'm sure we can save that franchise for you. But how? I can't get any more drivers. I'm driving. You're not. I'm driving. You? Sure, why not? I've driven state coaches all over this country. Well, I'm going with you. Oh, no, you're not. Not with that shoulder. I'm taking this out alone myself this time. Besides, this is going to be different. Yes, how? I'm going to take the shortcut to Eagle Rock Pass. Those outlaws won't be expecting that. Well, that's an idea. You might get through that way. But what about the mail? That's off the schedule, almost into Tucson. Well, Uncle Sam will just have to take a vacation for a few days, that's all. Well, I guess this is it. Now, I wonder who that can be. Somebody looking for somebody. Are you gentlemen looking for someone? Does Miss Ruth live here? Yes, she does. Well, I'm looking for a fella called Buck Roberts. Is he here? Yes, he's inside. Oh, I'm Miss Miranda Masters, Miss Ruth's aunt. Well, I'm mighty happy to know you, Miss Miranda. My name's Hopkins, Sandy Hopkins. And this is Parson McCall. A minister in this awful place? I want to see that boy that got hurt on the stage, if I may. Uh, he's inside. Uh, do come in. We're just having tea. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Roberts, this is Mr. Hopkins. He's been looking for you. Uh, you're the fella. I missed you every place in town. I got them critters over at the corral waiting for you. You recollect the parson, don't you? Oh, yes. I rather enjoyed the singing this afternoon. Yes, so did I. This is the young man who was injured, isn't it? Indeed it is, Mr. McCall. It's outrageous, the killings and butcherings going on in this heathen place. Miss Ruth, don't you think you'd better run along and see what you can do with those miners? Yes. Excuse me, please. How are you feeling, young man? Fine, thanks. They haven't got me down yet, and they're not uh, going to, either. Good. That's the spirit. Well, I guess I'll be moseying along. Oh, by the way, Mr. Uh, Hopkins is the name. Hopkins. I'm taking the stage out of here tomorrow, and I'll pay you well if you'll stay here and take care of the stock for me. It's a deal. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Roberts, aren't you going to stay for tea? Tea? No, thank you. Well, you'll have tea, uh, Parson. A parson always has tea. <laughs> Joe? Yes, thanks. Uh, how about you, Mr. Hopkins? Oh, <laughs> oh, certain sure. <laughs> uh, one lump or two? Shish. I gotta talk to you quick. All right, come on. I followed Roberts and the girl over to her house. He told her and that kid he'd take the stage out tomorrow if she could get the miners to ship their gold. I thought so. Once a lawman, always one. But he's not gonna go by the regular route. He's gonna take a shortcut through Eagle Rock Pass to fool us. Oh, he is, is he? Well, this is just where his foot is going to slip. Red, we're going to lay these holdups right in his lap. Oh. Huh. Sit down, I'll tell you. So you see, you've got to give me one more chance. Well, if you say you've got this fellow to drive for you, Miss Ruth, and you think there's a chance of getting through... I know I will. Give me the gold shipment tomorrow. If I fail, then I'm through then you should accept Taggart's offer. But I know I won't. I can't. Well, it's all right with me. Here, too. Well, thank you. You're real friends. My dad.
I hear you're taking the stage out tomorrow. News travels fast around here. I wouldn't try it if I were you, Buck. Why not? I got business in Tucson. My horse needs a rest. Besides, I'm going to do someone a favor. Roberts, you're lying. You don't mean that, do you, Taggart? Now, now, wait a minute. I just don't get it, that's all. Once a lawman, always a lawman. So I'm not falling for your reasons for taking out that stage. No? No. And there never was a town big enough to hold the two of us. You're right. Just dropped in to tell you if you want to ship any gold, it'll get a safe ride. Thanks for telling me. Howdy, Parson. How's the boy with a wounded shoulder? Oh, he's all right. Whoever took a shot at him just wasn't good enough. Well, Taggart, what arrangements have you made for building the church? I'm not making any. Give us a drink. You're not what? I don't pay off when a man deals a crooked deck. It happened to be your deck. Yeah, but I saw you dealing it from the bottom. Dear, none of that, Parson. You keep out of this, Tiger. Now get up on your feet. So you're a bad man, eh? A gunfighter. Well, I'll just give you the kind of a break you wouldn't have given me. I'm going to start counting. And when I reach three, fill your hand and start shooting. One. Two. Three. Hmm. I thought so. Well, Taggart, I want the money for that church tomorrow. Of all the yellow dogs. Come out of the back room. Any word from the miners? Yes, I had a talk with them. They've agreed to send the gold down tonight. And you can pull out on schedule in the morning. Oh, that's fine. I'll be ready. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. I believe you understand how much this means to me. I do. Don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. Telling you goodbyes, like that. You're in no condition to make this trip, son. I can still shoot. Here, take this. How about it, miss? I don't guess I'd want him any other way. You mark it paid. Good luck. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye. Yeah! Yeah! It's ridiculous. Joe oughtn't to take such chances with his wounded arm. Oh, I think he'll be all right with Mr. Roberts.
take her turn. Yeah. Relax that gun now and take it easy. You three take cover there. Steady, son. Atta boy. What are you slowing him down for? Oh, a little rough in here. I thought it'd be easier on your shoulders. Yeah, I guess you're right, now that we're in the clear. Stop right here. Stick him up or I'll tug you. Holy oh, kid, there's too many of them. Hand it over to him. Get out of here. Thanks a lot, Buck. I'll see you later when you get rid of that monkey. So you know these rats. You framed this just perfect, didn't you? You knew a shortcut. Yeah, and I could put the gun away now because we were in the clear. You'd slow down to make it easier on my shoulder. Now, wait a minute, kid. You got this all wrong. Shut up! I ought to kill you right now, but you'll look a lot better on the end of a rope. Turn him around and get back to town. And don't forget my finger just itching to pull this trigger. Shipments? Why, what's the matter? Do you recognize these sacks? Why, yes, they're Wells Fargo. They're ours. Yes, Taggart found them in Robert's saddlebags this morning. I got suspicious of him when he walked into my place yesterday, so I had his saddlebags checked. This is what I found. Miss Ruth, you sent that boy in our gold right into a trap. Here comes the stage. <laughs> Get on out of here. Joe, what happened? You'll find out. Here's your bandit man. He knows where the gold is. We know all about that. Did the gang get all the stuff? Yeah, I tried to stop him, but he grabbed my gun. Red, take some men and lock him up. Until the citizens of this town decide what they want to do with them. The citizens of this town know what they want to do with it. Come All on, right, get minute. going. Give me that gun. Here, preacher. You look honest, you keep it. Come on. Well, Miss Masters, I guess this clears up a lot of things. You know, I think I'll go down and have a talk with that young man. I'm going with it, Richie. I'm going to try and get my money for them critters. Don't look like it's been used recently. No, not since the sheriff was shot two years ago. But it'll hold you. You fellas wait out here. Get in there. Well, you can cool off for a spell. Time hangs heavy on your hands, you can clean up a bit. What are we waiting for? Yeah, he didn't lose any time. Sounds like you're going to have a right smart time at the end of a rope. Don't you worry, you fellas. We got him safe, all right. Where do you think you're going? I want to see that feller and try and get my money. What are you going to do, Parson? Try and save him? Maybe. All right. Well, Roberts, I'm surprised to see you corralled like this. Look here, feller. 
You can't do this to me. You've got to pay me for them critters. Or my boss down in Texas will string me up too. Come on, have a heart and give me my money, will you? You might as well. You can't take it with you. You two fellas seem to have a hard time getting it through your thick skulls that I didn't have anything to do with that holdup. I ain't saying you did, and I ain't saying you didn't. But I am saying that you're a low-down lying skunk. You'll eat them words someday, Waddy. What? Give me that. I'll get something that for what he owes me. Ain't you gonna stick around for the necktie party? No, sir. I got some mighty important business to attend to. You're not helping matters, trying to deny things backed up by so much proof. What proof? Plenty of proof. Especially those Wells Fargo bags that Taggart found in your saddle pockets. That's a lie. You don't expect him to admit it, do you, Parson? Yes, I do. You know, a man wants to go before his maker with a clear conscience. Now, if you'll name the other members of your band, we can recover that gold. How about it, Robert? I don't know anything about it. And if Taggart's got any Wells Fargo bags, why don't you ask him about it? Those people mean business, Roberts. It'll go easier with you if you tell what you did with that gold. You're just wasting your breath, Parson. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, I did the best I could, gentlemen. Hold it! boxes on that stage. Roberts told me the whole story. And if you'll come along with me, I'll show you where your gold is. held up that stage, all they got was a load of rocks. When did you first find out that Roberts was a U.S. Marshal? Oh, I knew him a long time ago, down in the southern part of the state. Are you crazy? What's the idea of riding in here like this? Oh, something's up, boss. We don't like it. We thought you might be needing help. What do you mean, help? Well, there was no gold in that box. Rocks. I was right. That fellow's no preacher. He's in cahoots with Robert. He's in the express office showing him the real gold right now. Robert switched boxes on you. It looks bad for us, Steve. You two get down there and lay on that gold. The rest of you inside. We're going to have to shoot this out. Okay, that door, boys. Taggart's the man you want. I've known him a long time, too. He's been trying to get me out of town ever since I came here. And we'd better go have a talk with Mr. Taggart. Uh, that's right. 
and he's waiting for you up at the saloon. Now keep your hands up and get out of here. All right, Richard. Make it snappy. Get your men together and head for the saloon. And get these women off the street. Ruth, take Miranda home. Come on, Aunt Ruth. Come on. That one out, Slick. Well, uh, got her done. <laughs> Here's your pistol. Thanks. Where's Tim? Well, he ought to be along most any time. Here he comes. Taggart and his outfit have barricaded themselves in the saloon and the express office. Townspeople are going to keep them under fire till we get there. Well, looks like here's where the Rough Riders ride again. Go, well, cowboy. <laughs> Well, 
throw them in. The marshal will meet us at the state line. All right, you go hard. Drop it in there. Come on, get a move on. Drop it in there. Take it easy, you fellas. Don't let anyone try anything funny. So, you're a United States Marshal, too. I didn't think you acted like a minister. I never said I was a minister. The town pinned that moniker on me. You better get aboard, lady, if you're going to take this stage out of town, though. Uh, Looks like this shipment's going through. Well, if they don't, they'll always say we tried a foundation taggers over it. Put it aboard. Miranda. Well, you can stay in this town if you want to. Not me. Oh, you'll be back. Watch your hooks. Get them off, Jim. They're all aboard. I guess the whole town owes you an apology, Marshal. Thanks. You sure cleaned this town up fast. Yes, I'm not finished yet. Get up on that coach. Go on, get up there. But I don't understand. Hey, what is this? You will. I guess you two youngsters need a preacher worse than Mesa City does. You'll find them on up in Green River. A real one. Good luck to you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey. Bye. Bye, Harry. Hey. Uh, bye. <laughs> well, there goes three fine fellers. Hi, Marshal. Hi, Buck. Hi, Tim. Hi, Killer. I got a load of presents for the penitentiary, a bunch of gold in there for the mint, and a prospective bride and groom to see a sky pilot in Green River. Take good care of them, will you? Well, you got quite a load there. You're telling me. Well, I'll see you later, Buck. Okay, Marshal. See you later, Tim. Killer. Now that that's settled, I'm going to tell you something. There I was, sitting in my hotel in Texas, just about to get hit to the prettiest little witty you ever set your eyes on. <laughs> when I got that fool message of yours saying to meet you here in Mesa City. Thought you said we were through with this manhunting business. Well, we couldn't turn Bat Madison down, could we? Of course we couldn't. I was tickled to death to get your message. You know, running a ranch like I've been doing up in Wyoming, a fellow's liable to get old-fashioned and settle down or something. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Buck, how are you doing down this state? Oh, right? fair to meddling. I wish you fellas would drop off for a little while and, you know, sit around. Not me. I'm heading for Texas. And I'm heading for Wyoming. Well, so long, Rough Riders. So long, Rough Riders. So long, Rough Riders. Rough Riders ride. Beware. Oh, we win.